Hello everyone, we are back playing as Replicating Perfection, uh, an identity I haven't used in quite a while. Up against Sunny, uh, this opening hand, it allows us to rush quickly, because we have two agendas. Kawainu will protect HQ, we can get a hedge fund. It's a bit dicey, but I think I will keep it. Uh, why haven't we played Replicating Perfection in a while? Well, Rumor Mill got printed. Well, first Palana got printed, and then Rumor Mill. And that basically shut everything down. But we are trying out... Um, we're trying out the Friends in High Places to be able to reinstall, like, Sunjus and Caprice, things like that. We also have the News Now Hour, but we only have one copy of it. Uh, that basically means that the runner cannot play Currents. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, zero to res, four to trash, so that's nice. But it is three influence, so there's only so many copies we can play. Um, plenty of economy off the bat, which is nice. John Masanori. Alright. So this could be like the DLR build, which is worrying. I don't think we go quite quick enough. This is wild as a new one on me, though, out of this build. So they show off Kamainu. Which means they have to install their 5 breaker. And then they'll just be playing 2 to get through it. So we're probably not going to be resin Kamainu this game. Because it's unlikely that they're going to run in it now that they know what it is. Um, We need to try and go quickly. Because once Sunny gets up and running, there is almost no way to stop her. Uh, Security Nexus would only do so much. Jack Sinclair is really going to help them. Um, cerebral static. <laughs> well, that does nothing. This is basically just in case there's a rumor mill. Friends in High Places does nothing yet. And another Jackson. So, not the ideal draw for us. Uh, Jack Sinclair will allow them the free run on R&D. Pretty much mitigates our whole identity ability. So, I from the looks of it, this couldn't be much of a worse matchup for us. Uh, if they do trash the Jackson, we have another one, and we do have friends in high places as well, so... Not too bad. Sunju goes in the bin early, would have liked that. But Jackson stays safe, at least. And it hits their economy. Ooh, nice. It's a card I've always wanted to try, uh, mainly out of like noise, things like that. But with him being hit so hard by the most wanted list, uh, it becomes hard to fit all the cards you want. So, this hand is now terrible. Uh, we'd like to see ice of any variety, really. Um, both of these are okay, but that's about all you can say. Put that in RD, and I think we'll put Tollbooth where Jackson currently is. And we'll shuffle, or we'll get rid of Cerebostatic, because it does nothing for us. And all the other ones are the cards I'd like to keep. Again, Sarugi, not the greatest. I cannot remember what Sunny's breaker strength starts at. If they, f if they have to pay two and then two, it's not too bad. So we'd like to draw into some money assets soon. Again, they're a little poor, so you want to be able to capitalize on that. Ice-wise, we're in an okay position. Kamainu is not ideal, obviously, it doesn't stop the run. But they will require their breaker or their security nexus. Celebrity gift is not quite what we want at the moment. And it's not getting any better. But I suppose we can show it off now. <sighs> can we? We kind of can't. I think we just put Crick on... Maybe draw two more, and then put Crick on Archives. Currently have eight cards, so maybe we don't draw any more. Um, I think Crick on Archives. And just take a credit, and we'll pitch 
two agendas. We'll pitch that and we'll pitch Philatic, I think. Yeah, Corporate Sales Team does more for us. Uh, Philatic is more of a defensive maneuver. And hopefully they haven't found room for Rumor Mill. That would hurt. Well, their money issues are solved anyway. And we may want to go for a push. Tollbooth isn't an ideal defense. But at the moment, it's all we've got. Um, let's see. Well, we can shuffle back money, probably leave the sun due. So I think draw once. Mm, that doesn't change much for us. I think we shovel here and go for the push and hope for the best. So if they run here, we almost have to res because global sec, if they use it, that is, will allow them to see a agenda. Although we want to res this instead. Come on, new, not too pushed on. It wouldn't be great to lose Jackson, but as we've said a couple of times, friends in high places is fine. Um, actually, we can hit their entire hand here. And we can still afford the toll booth. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> there, I thought it was the bluff and double bluff. So, presumably all of these will fire. Which means I have to be quite careful in... <laughs> in hitting for five. I wish it would have the extra menu just to do one more. So, one, two. Oh, nice. We're hitting some good stuff here. Nexus and a levy. All very important cards. Now, the question is, do they think we're playing Shock or Snare? Apparently not. And they get the corporate sales team. Oh, well. So we can hit them over here if we want. I wouldn't imagine that they'll run. Arthritis is good for them. So let's see, we hit. This is the sentry breaker, isn't it? No, nope. decoder. Good to know though. So running through HQ, we can't do anything about this. Clearly they're just going balls to the wall now. And we lose Jackson. So they've gotten really, really good hits. Annoyingly good hits. Uh, Mental Health Clinic will help us, but next turn. We will be able to celebrity gift shortly and get our mental health online as well. Well, at least we have the Nisei out the door. A very important agenda, as always, out of Jinteki. Especially out of Replicating Perfection, because you can really condense runner turns. Fortunately, too short of Sarugi here, but they haven't been using Global Sec. So we just have to hope that it holds strong. Can fire Crick if needs be. Um, Sunju, probably better. 
I would like that as, as soon as possible. It's a good spread. No jack usage. Obviously waiting for another security nexus. And we hit one. I assume Sonny plays three. So let's uh let's draw pop. Could be good, but not just yet. Put that over there and we'll take a credit. This turns on Sarugi, but only the end the run portion of it. And it does get crick up and running. Taxing them is already going to be very, very difficult, though. Uh, two underworlds on the board is really, really good. So financially, we'll be struggling to hurt them. But hopefully, clickwise, we can cause some issues. Uh, crick is going to be two, four, six, which is all right. <laughs> but three underworlds. There's only so much taxation we can do. And the Sherman comes down as well. So no sign of the Century Breaker just yet. But it's on the way. Hmm. We are just too short of paying for this. So I think we might have to just Celebrity Gift here. And installing Caprice is risky. But it might be better to get it out of our hand. Of course, if we do, this becomes a 1 in 4 shot. Pop in front of Kwainu is a tax, but it's not a great tax. Because obviously if they leave that hit, Kwainu becomes a walkthrough. They'll be up for 5 credits. They could click for 2 and run. Uh, maybe hop, pop in front of HQ isn't so bad. Next turn we can go for another push of Caprice and Nisei. Tollbooth is 6 plus 9. It's not nothing, nothing. It's not nothing. <laughs> so we have some good ice in this matchup. Aside from the likes of Kamainu Pup. No, Pop is fine. Uh, Combine it, though. Doesn't cause it so many issues. And they've left themselves a little poor again, which means the next turn is certainly worthwhile going for a push, unless they can lucky find here. Okay, they'll be up at six credits next turn. But I'm happy to go for this. And if we're feeling really good about ourselves, we can then go for the global food push. A little more money would be nice, but we do have to just put the foot down and beat Sonny before she can get set up. Uh, the fact that she's getting three credits a turn is already a little dicey. So they haven't taken a look. We could pay six for the end of the run, but that's not that exciting. Could pay six and then one more and hit them for three damage, but they've shown a willingness to accept damage. Sanju goes in the bin again. So we can pay this to get two of them back. That's if we want to take some time over the, the global food. Dirty laundry. 
we can stop this. We can also... Hmm... Leaves us very, very poor, though. And they do have two clicks in which they could come over here. Well, this is one for the comment section. Let me know what you'd do in this situation. I think we have to let it through. Maybe we were a little too aggressive with our scoring push. I could need side token it, but without rumor mill, I prefer keeping it for losing a side game here. If we had one more credit, I reckon I would uh, go for the res. So we cast them three. They will be able to get in, but we can pay one. We will get it back, which means we can get the Nisei scored. And they take a tag. Fantastic. So we're not going to have any money for defending ourselves. We can go for the two Sunju soon if we want. That's okay. So, I think we're better off scoring this. Uh, very, very soon we can essentially just take money. With this, uh, if they go for a push here, to take a Caprice, we'll obviously let it go. And possibly friends in high places at back. Next turn, if uh, this if mental health doesn't go, we will be clicking up for credits. And then the following turn, we can hedge fund and possibly get two Sunjus down. I think we've been pretty fortunate on R&D. The agendas have come at the, the right time, aside from at the very start, where we were in a bit of trouble. That's nice. So financially, they are sorted. We, on the other hand, are not. Uh, this turn is just going to be click for credits. Next turn, we can gamble. Um, putting out two Sunjus may not even be worthwhile. They definitely have the money to trash them. And they have the time as well, thanks to Jack Sinclair. So, another money card would be pretty nice. It's a draw. Ooh. Or we could lose. <laughs> Data Sucker will certainly help them. Surprised they haven't installed a Sentry Breaker. Now I know we've shown nothing to fear here, but... Oh, Caprice Scan as well. So they can just keep pummeling R&D at the moment. There's not a lot we can do about it. Still wondering about the usefulness of friends in high places. We could obviously get this back, which isn't bad. Cost them a little bit more to trash. Um, we can put vanilla up here just to make it that little bit more annoying. But I think we. Hedge fund, let's take a credit, and then friends in high places. Seems decent. Do we want Jackson back is the question. 
at least that allows us to shuffle a couple of things back, like hedge funds. That's probably the better one. So let's go mental health. Into a new remote. And let's put Jackson into scoring server. So at least if they want to trash it, they have to pay the toll booth tax. Now the question is, do we want to res Sarugi? Ah, now they're starting to use global sec. The thing is, until they install their sentry breaker, we don't really have to shuffle. And I'm okay with them losing a click as well. Freedom. Ah, okay. So we can shut them down with Sarugi, which will give them a tag. It costs us a lot of money though. Could go for the random shuffle, but that could lose us the game just as easily. So I think we just end the run here because Data Sucker is annoying as well. Don't want to give them too many free taps at that. Yeah, at least they've taken a tag as well. So we could shuffle back a cerebral static plus some money cards. And that will at least burn their freedom to equality. Likely to only be playing the one. Ah, there we go. Okay. So they have all the money in the world to get through. We can... So they'll be up at 14 credits. It costs them quite a lot each time to come here. So it'll be one sucker. I think we might have to take one more turn though. Because if we install advance and take a credit, we're at three. Also, this doesn't win us the game. So I think here we draw two. And take two credits. I'll get rid of the corporate sales team and the yeah, one of the pups, I think. I would prefer to have global food in hand. I don't think they're going to come to HQ. Pup is now live. Crick is now live. We have total boot protection and some pretty vital things. This will tip away for a little while. Uh, this is good for us. So, it's not cheap. And we can get a... Yeah, nice. I think we go for a sundew here. Yeah, Sanji seems good. Won't do much for us for a while, but I think worth it in the long run. And we will of 
obviously shuffle back our agendas. Uh, let's go for cerebral static hedge fund and corporate sales. Sanji would have been much nicer earlier hit. Uh, as it is going to take a while to pay off. Um, but if we have time, I think we chuck vanilla in front of it. That way they have to pay a little bit more to get through. But as I've said, <laughs> money is not an issue for them. And there's the, the center breaker. Now things are a little little bit more interesting. So it's just going to cost some two credits until we virus wipe. Um, but that isn't even that exciting, is it? So next turn I think we put Jackson into the server again. Um, take some credits. Okay, good. We forced them to come over for the, the Sunju. That's probably better for us. I think it would take a little too long. Uh, another mental health is really good though. So, put this off into a new remote. I think we put the vanilla on R&D now. and take a credit. And at some point we need to trust ourselves to go for the global food. I think next turn, if we can get these to live, might be worthwhile. They haven't got their Nexus online yet. This is still expensive, even with the data sucker. Seven in total, plus a data sucker. Then we can force a side game. Ping for this. So we have a couple of shots at it. Coming for HQ. Uh, I'm okay with paying one to make them pay two. This would be a lovely Kamainu most other times, except for right now, when they have billions of cards. And now it's a one and four. Wow, <laughs> great snipes. Uh, so we were a little lucky possibly on the HQ hits. Um, but yeah, we were gearing up for a push and just couldn't get there in the end, a little poor. Friends in High Places was staying hidden on us, and unfortunately Sonny did manage to get the setup going in the end. Uh, got some good money going. Eventually found Sentry Breaker, Data Sucker certainly helps. But next turn, had these lived, we would have been good to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as I said, let me know down in the comment section what you would have done about that dirty laundry run. <laughs>